Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights! When last we left off, we were constantly annoying this port last mercenary by standing here. He always pays us a watchful eye when we pass. So, let's go to Nurik and inform him that we've managed to, uh, cure those three people afflicted with lycanthropy. Also, there's this person here. Jaheel, I don't recognise you from before. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Oh, I didn't see you there. You startled me. I think that just triggered, and then I talked to her. Yep, as soon as uh, it had triggered, thus it sounded like it had occurred twice. Looks like you're having a rough day. Why don't you tell me your name? Thank you for your concern, sir. My name is Jaheel. What's your name? My name is Sarkin Smith, but please just call me Sarkin. It is a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, Sarkin. I only wish I could give you all of my attention. My mind is focused on darker thoughts. What can I do for you? I'm hunting the cult that started the plague in Neverwinter. Have you heard anything about them? I wish I could help you, kind man, but my mind is overwrought and it is very difficult for me to focus on anything other than my own troubles. Uh. What troubles are those? It's so horrible. I was supposed to bring my little brother Neva into town to buy him a birthday present for his tenth birthday. He was so excited he kept running ahead of me. He ran over a hill, when all of a sudden I heard him scream. I ran as fast as I could up to the top of the hill, but once I got close I heard men's voices. I dropped to the ground and peeked over the crest of the hill. Neva was surrounded by a group of thugs. They picked him up and carried him off, laughing to themselves. I simply don't know who to turn to. The guards are busy with their own troubles, and I need uh, someone who can rescue him quickly. Do you know where the bandits took him? Yes, I quietly followed him to some standing stones in the hills just outside of Charwood. I thought for sure they would catch me, but I was lucky. <laughs> Why do you think the bandits took him captive? I imagine it's because he has his birthday money in his purse. He has ten gold pieces to spend for his birthday. That's a lot. So the bandits probably figured he was from a wealthy home and they want to ransom him. <laughs> I would love to rescue him for you. My hero! Thank you so much for being brave. I must admit that if you were able to rescue my baby brother, uh, there are rewards besides gold I would be willing to discuss. I know Never is being held at a bandit camp near some standing stones just outside of Charwood, but I have no idea how many people are holding him or what exactly to expect. Please hurry. Bring him back to safety. I'll do my best. Bless you, brave one. I shall pray for your swift and safe return. You are remarkably well armed for somebody who can't take on bandits. But we shall go and take on some bandits. Charwood, you said, which is over down here. Right. Let's go use this portal and make our way over to uh, Nurik and inform him that we have... Okay, this portal is either not working or I didn't press properly. It... I didn't just press properly. Let's go and inform him that we've managed to cure all of them. Hello. Hey, I'll tell ye. It's a miracle of luck you've returned to us. To losing brave Sarkarthus to the Black Wolf, we can't help but be overly concerned with your welfare. <laughs> Have you news for me, brother? Or are you in need of something else? We must speak of the werewolves. A grim topic, but I can think of little else. Have you been successful? I've had some success in finding the boys, actually. Truly! I have little doubt that you would do well. Oh, a port lass is lucky indeed to have you in its midst. I found all three of them. Here are their rings. What wondrous luck has shown to port last. What a wondrous hero to come to our aid. You've survived and brought the children from death with you. All the boys have now been accounted for. It is a relief to see that some measure of peace has been restored at last. Your heroism has served us well, brother. Take this reward and my thanks. If only all... If only all of this were over with. Sir Carathus remains at large, as does the Black Wolf himself. A task yet remains to track them both, brother. You will, of course, be rewarded once again when that is done, I assure you. Have you a need, then, my brother? I shall help however I'm able. I will go. I need to make purchases from the temple. You are neutral, but identification costs a hundred gold regardless. This is a... Really good helmet if you were a sorcerer. Wow. 
bonus sorcerer spell slots. That's a really cool helmet. If you were a sorcerer. Which we're not, so that's kind of a useless helmet for us. But if you were playing a sorcerer, that would be brilliant. It's now day. Let's head over and out to Charwood. With haste. For there is a little boy who needs to spend his birthday not potentially being sacrificed to some sort of thugs or brigands or whatever they're planning on doing. We should stop it. The only way to stop it is probably to kill all of the brigands. Is a chicken coming along with us? Baron von Sleisenberg III, we need you! I thought as much. Protect Port Las with your... You got in my way, didn't you? Aye. Mercenary guards. Getting in the way of my pathing. Okay, Charwood. Some standing stones. Let's have a look. The entrance to Charwood. According to his siblings, he's being held near some standing stones. Avengers are to meet the siblings there and attempt to rescue. The Charwood must probably be in here. Must probably be in here. Is this the Charwood? Hmm. Let's find out. Charwood? Southeast, South Road. Farms and Charwood. Let's go this way. That goes to Charwood, but they might be this way. Or... Lurk the troll. There. You seem to be a friendly troll. This is a little... interesting. I wonder what you're doing here. Well, let's see... we can't go that way. I doubt there's much reason for you to let us go in. So let's go into the actual um, entrance to Charwood. Unless there are standing stones here. There are, in fact, standing stones there. I doubt they're what we're looking for. The entrance to Charwood is right here. So if we go into Charwood, we should be able to find the... Uh, bandits. We need to go into Charwood anyway. There is a quest to do in Charwood. The spirit of Neverwinter Wood has come to harm. Fair enough. We'll be going there at some point. Right now we're werewolf hunting. Werewolf hunting with extreme stabbing. We don't have a silver sword though. That's going to be a problem. Welcome to farmland. Not quite what I was thinking when I thought of Charwood, but the camera got really stuck there for a moment. Okay. There is a pito deal. I suppose you could talk to you. Farmer's brow is furrowed with worry and desperation. Greetings. Ah, uh, is something to miss, Traveller. What's your name? Me? I'm Farmer O'Deal, but you can call me Pete if you like. And who might you be? You may call me Sarkin Smith. Well, I've been having trouble around the farm as of late, Sarkin Smith. Do you think you might be able to help me out? What kind of trouble? There are some dire wolves in the hills there that have taken to preying on my herd. Now, Pax led by a big she wolf I've taken to calling Silverback. I swear I'll pay 300 gold to have her head. She's already taken down two of my cattle and left her own devices, so she'll clear the whole herd. Sure, that sounds like something I could do. That'd be true. Well, I won't hold my breath till I see you returning with Silverback's head, but the help's appreciated. Until then, need anything else? Goodbye. Fare you well. So, we have a quest. High and daring adventure. Wow, you have a trap chest over there. I wonder what's in it. I'm curious what's in that chest that you think you need to trap it. I don't know how deadly the trap is. Not very. Okay, Sharwin, let's find out what's in here. Done and done. That was definitely worth trapping, Farmer. Farmer O'Deal. Certainly worth trapping. There is a cow. 
just stood there. Being a cow. Fair enough. There is also Looks a Looks like your bait has gone <coughs> to the oh. Quick, close in on them. Bait? What? Hang on. It would seem that the person that we are coming to rescue is, in fact, as I thought, some sort of assassin who has come to try and kill us. What a shock that this story seemed a little too, too good to be true. Um, the cow is desperately trying to help out here. Ah, it would seem that uh, Crumpet is helping out there. We really need to cure. Hopefully this uh, person here is not going to kill me. Concentration success. However, we need to help there. I don't think that cow uh, survived. You guys deal with that. I need to go deal with this dire wolf. What a surprise that uh, there was something amiss with that... Uh, story of bandits and circles, stones. So it was indeed a trap. A trap that we have quite handily dealt with. We're gonna have to go back. There is a magic helmet here. Our efforts with the Orc clans and Uthgard tribes continue as we close to a breakthrough. Resulting army already strong should be enough to bring down the new and holy empire. Not all is as smooth as hoped, as some meddlers are proving to be of small but growing concern. Interrupting our search to the artifact in Charwood, the Neverwinter Wood, and the Oak Caves north of Port Last. I've already sent Solomon against these interlopers, but he has failed. If we should fail, I will have to take Vardok from his current tasks and set him upon them. In other words, do not fail. Morgrim Corathir. We have a name. Morgrim Torathir. Interesting. Unfortunately, I don't think the cow survived. Also, I don't think Crumpet survived. Crumpet, I think, in fact, perished. Welcome back, Crumpet. Sorry about that. I thought the other bear was you. Valiant effort to defeating those two, though. Valiant effort. So, we're going to have to go over here. These standing stones are indeed... Uh, or were indeed a massive trap. There's a wolf pelt. I don't think that's really going to be of much use to us. However, we're going to go and get silver back here. This is a big cave. This is a very big cave. Hello, wolves. There have been lots of wolves in this chapter. Wolves and wargs and boars and goblins. Well, I suppose since we're in the countryside, that is to be expected. At least there are no owl bears. If there were owl bears, I'd really have a reason to be very, very worried. Owl bears are horrifying. Trust me on that one. You don't want to deal with owl bears. Also, we probably want to take all of these pelts. Purely because they might be worth something. Also, we found another helmet. Maybe it won't Fair be enough. silly. Also, when did the wolves ever lock anything? Who's been locking these chests? Why have you locked away five gold wolves? Your end draws now. There are a lot of dire wolves here. I'd argue actually the dire wolves are less dangerous than the wargs. <laughs> There is a direwolf and a warg. To be fair, actually, they're actually all doing quite well at hurting us. However, pelts are plenty. We'll be taking every single one. And then probably heading over to deal with that werewolf problem. Let's have a look. Remains? Okay. Can we rest here? No. Can we rest down here? Probably not. There are absolutely loads of wolf. What happened to Crumpet? 
I'm actually sort of curious. What happened to Crumpet? That was odd. Crumpet just vanished. Did Crumpet just die? Well, Sharwin's certainly going to die. Unless we're really careful. There we go. We should be able to deal with these, though. That was close. Oh, Crumpet's found something else to fight. Another few wargs. Let me explore all these. Are these wargs that dangerous? Possibly. To be fair, they might just be that dangerous. I'm getting a lot of pelts. I hope there's somebody who will buy these. We shall not be defeated! Also, I imagine that is... Yep, that's where Silverback is. So if we go down there, we'll find Silverback. But right now, we're just apparently going to go off and murder more wolves. Can we get to this corpse? Yes, you have a potion. Uh, please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Okay, you're more than capable of handling uh, that situation yourself. However, still would not like you to die. There is just a normal wolf. But somehow we managed to miss when we came in. How do we miss you? No matter. We'll just explore these piles of stones. And more pelts. There are a lot of pelts. An absolute shed load of pelts. One might say we're being pelted with them! <laughs> oh, that was awful. There are enemies nearby. There are probably not enemies nearby at the entrance. Which means we are heading over there. Look at all of the wolf pelts. We could make a tent. We could make several tents. I hope they sell. This is when they go, we're not interested in buying these. We're sort of just uh, zigzagging at the moment around the area. Mainly because I want to deal with the werewolf problem before I deal with the other problems. The werewolf one is actually a, a very significant problem. The werewolf issue is one that will... I don't think it's actually linked at all to the cultist activities. We are going to have to buff if we are going to fight this, uh... We have to fight this, uh... Wolf down here. This will hopefully be enough. Because this is a dangerous wolf. Ooh, acid arrows. This is Silverback! And if memory serves about Silverback, I do not know why I named it, uh... 58 for some reason, when it's actually 61. This is Silverback, and if I remember about Silverback, Silverback's tough. Silverback is, yeah. Silverback is an is a really, really... Silverback can talk! Silverback can talk! That's how tough this wolf is. Uh, you're welcome to join in whenever you like, Summoned Bear. Fortunately, ah, oh, there we go. Fortunately, the sheer number of... In fact, you have bested me. What do you want? Oh! It would seem we can talk to you when you are no longer dazed. Urgh. I show my throat to you. Sink your teeth into it. It is yours. You talk, do you? Then answer my questions, as you wish, manling. Where did you learn to talk? My mother served a manling ranger. He taught me your foolish tongue when I was still a pup. Who is this ranger? Nobody. He is dead. He sent my mother to fight a demon just so he could run away. I killed him with my own teeth. It is bad enough to serve a manling, but it is worse to serve a coward. <laughs> Tell me about your hunting grounds. We used to hunt in the woods, eastwards, but there is something evil there. My mate preyed on a manling village, but the meat was rancid to the bone. When he ate it, he said it took a piece of him away with it to an endless place. 
and then it took more and more until he died from the inside out. That's why I've led the pack out of the forest into this new den. And now you come here and defile it. <sighs> what more questions for you? You've been hunting the nearby cattle, haven't you? There is more meat on them than a deer, and they do not run as fast. Would you not hunt them? It sounds like coward's food. <sighs> I am no coward. It is you manlings that show cowardice, wearing the skins of others, relying on more than fang and claw to fight. That I face you here should be proof that I am no coward. I will not follow you, manling, if that is what you have come to ask. Simply a favor, that's all I ask. Your courage has earned you that much. I will not follow you, but I... But you may ask something else of me. I need you to stop hunting the cattle, and no people either. Urgh. Their flesh is the best I've tasted in many years, but I will do as you ask. There is enough deer about for us to live on. There we go! I have solved the issue without killing Silverback. Yep, Silverback is probably quite, quite evil. However, a non-aggressive, a non-violent solution is always best, especially when druids are concerned. So, we may have bad news to tell the farmer, but the reward is not all the end of the world. So, I'll catch you next time, and I'll see you then. Later.